Also today, the mobile app that keeps your health in check. Dr. Ian Painter is here with me to look at the games available for patients. That's coming up here on Impact. Welcome back to the program. Now, the negative impact of spending time on our smartphones and tablets is often a point of discussion, but what if playing a computer game could actually help your health? Well, one mobile gaming app developed by students at the University of Queensland in Australia is being trialled to help cystic fibrosis sufferers manage their breathing. Well, Health Check's Dr. Ayan Panja is here to tell me more. Uh, Dr. Panja, you know, this is often something that uh, parents tell their children not to constantly be on their smartphones, but what makes these apps different? Well, that's right. Well, um, children particularly find it quite difficult to engage with treatments, and some are quite unpleasant, particularly if you have serious illnesses. So cystic fibrosis and this particular app called Pepster um, is, 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 is a really good example. So cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition, which means that you your lungs and your gut fill up with mucus and you need long courses of chest physiotherapy. Now gaming and actually making something fun for children means they're more likely to engage. It almost distracts them into doing things without them realising that they're doing something good for themselves. I've actually got this app here. Would you like to have a go? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so what's this particular um, game? Well, so this is called Pepster. This is the one for children with cystic fibrosis and it helps their breathing and it means that they can engage in home physiotherapy. So I'll show you how it works. So okay. I'm just going to switch it on very briefly and if I get, give you this, what you have okay. to do is try and make the rocket uh, sort of hit the stars. Okay, so what do I, so, do I just blow into So now you've got to go up, blow hard, really hard, blow, 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 oh, oh good, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep going, keep going, it's difficult isn't it? And again, and again, it's that's really it. Tough. It's really tough. That's brilliant, well done, keep it up, that's it. Very good. Well done. <laughs> Doing pretty well. That's good. Better than me. But, okay. you, but you get the idea. It's, yeah. uh, it's hard yeah, work, right. isn't it? So um, kids have to do, to do this. That's right. And the, the, the really clever thing is that that can be uploaded, that data can actually be sent to their doctor or nurse. Um, so it saves trips to the hospital because if you're doing well on that, it means that your lung function is probably doing quite well. It's teaching you to actually breathe the way that you should be. That's right. And so chest physiotherapists will often give children exercises to do. But the exercises involve breathing out for long periods. And that's exactly what they're doing here. But it's fun. And, and that's the power of this particular app. Absolutely, and, and there must be other apps on the market or, or that's being developed if they're seeing success with, with uh, some of these things. Well, that's right. Well, this particular one's being trialled in Australia at the moment, but there are two that are on the market. There's one called Dexteria, which is for children to learn about fine motor control, so things like handwriting or chasing and pinching things, hand-eye coordination, which might be very useful for a child who's got coordination problems. Um, and then there's another one called Remission, which is a very clever play on words. The word remission means when a disease process has halted and that's for children with cancer now that is obviously a very specialist area and the treatments are quite um, difficult and what that involves is you as the child pretending to be a nanobot within within the body fighting these cancer cells what's interesting about this particular app is that it's shown that children are more likely to stick to their treatment um, it increases their knowledge and awareness of cancer and they're more likely uh, to increase the what we call self-efficacy which means they buy into the treatment and take ownership of their condition and in many ways probably helps parents as well because if, if parents have a sick child they probably don't want to make them do things they don't want to do well that's absolutely right you can't really force a child to do something um, as, as any parent will tell you and particularly when that when it's something very important like a cancer treatment or physiotherapy for your lungs this is just a great way by stealth to get the child to do something that they find fun Absolutely. Well, that uh, looks like a really fantastic invention that they've created. Thanks very much, Dr. Panja, for teaching us about it.